Hi, I'm Dr. Shah. I was the National Lecture Competition winner in 1989, and I'm the Maths Master at Maths School. Now, ready for a new way of doing maths? I'm going to show you how to solve algebraic equations. Now, there are two cases we need to consider. So, case one, x in one place. So if our equation has x in one place, then we're going to use a method of a flow diagram to help us rearrange it. So I'll start off with an example. x is only in one place in this equation, so we'll use a flow diagram. Flow diagram means that we're just reading the order, the mathematical order of that equation. So looking at the x, the thing that we see next to it is a subtract 3. Then there's the brackets. Outside of the brackets is a times 2. And then that's all of that side of the equation read. And then we get to the equal sign equals 12. Now we want to solve this equation, so basically we want to unravel the x. So what we've got to do is reverse these steps. So the opposite of times 2 is divide by 2. So we'll divide by 2 both sides. So that gives us x minus 3 is 6. The times 2 and the divide by 2 cancel each other out. So we've done that. And now the opposite of the minus 3 is to add 3. And that should take us back to the x. So I'll add 3 to both sides. Again, the minus 3 and the plus 3 cancel each other out. So on this side, we're just left with x. And on this side, we get 9. And that's our answer. OK, so let's have a go at another example, still using this case 1, x in one place. slightly more tricky flow diagram this time. Starting with the x, what you see in front of the x here is a negative sign. Now to get that negative sign, we're going to times it by minus 1. When you times by minus 1, that means you're making the x negative. And then this is a plus 2 at the end here. So plus 2. This isn't x minus 2, it's 2 minus x. So the flow diagram is slightly more complicated. Times minus 1 to make the x negative, and then add 2 to get a plus 2. That's everything inside the brackets done. Now there's a times 3 outside the brackets. Then we're up to the equal sign. And so now we want to reverse those steps. The opposite of times 3 is divide by 3. And on this side, the times 3 and the divide by 3 cancel each other out. So we're just left with 2 minus x. And 18 divided by 3 is 6. Opposite of plus 2 is minus 2 minus 2 from both sides. Again, the plus 2 and the minus 2 cancel each other out. So we're left with minus x is 4. And then the opposite of times minus 1 is, well, it's the same thing. It's times minus 1. Times minus 1 changes the sign. And so if you change the sign again, you, you have reversed it. And so we're going to times by minus 1 both sides. And that's going to get rid of the minus from there. And that leaves us with x is minus 4. Solved. OK, so that's case one dealt with. That's x in one place. Now we want to try more difficult equations. So case two, x in more than one place. So for these examples, we're going to have to use a set of rules. First rule is we want to get rid of any fractions. So multiply by denominators. to get rid of any fractions. Then we want to multiply out any brackets. Getting rid of any brackets that are in the equation. Then we want to collect all the x terms to one side. And then once we've done that, we should be able to solve it by rearranging it in the same way as we did before. So I'm going to give you a different example here for case two. 